Hello everybody. I hope you're having a good day today. If you have a Life of Fred Butterfly's book, go ahead and pull your book out now. We're going to be on page 19 and that's chapter 2. And the title is Drawing Butterflies. The butterflies tickled Fred's head. He giggled and the butterflies all flew away. The four butterflies joined the five that were on the flowers. Betty and Fred sat very quietly on a bench to watch those nine butterflies. Betty took out a piece of paper and drew one of the butterflies. She gave Fred a piece of paper so that he could also draw. Betty looked at Fred's drawing and smiled. She said, I don't think their feet look like that. Fred got another sheet of paper and drew a new picture. Fred thought that this picture was much better. Now the butterfly had shoes on. Betty had forgotten about asking about this calculus problem. Instead, she asked, how did those nine butterflies fly out of your office window? Fred said, I left the window open. Fred's answer was true, but it was not what Betty was really asking. She tried again. I mean, how did those butterflies get into your office in the first place? Fred wasn't sure. He answered, I guess they flew in. But this is February in Kansas, Betty said. This morning it was negative 15 degrees. And when it is 15 degrees below zero, you don't have butterflies flying around. They decided to go back to his office and find out what was going on. Fred climbed the steps one at a time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Betty's legs were a lot longer than Fred's. She took the stairs two at a time. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. When Fred was climbing the stairs, he tried to think of where the butterflies had come from. He had been reading a book about butterflies to Kingi. Did the butterflies in the book come alive and fly out the window? No, that would be silly. Kingi had been dreaming about butterflies. Did his dream break open and the butterflies fly out the window? No, that would be silly. When they got to Fred's office, he told Betty that Kingy was sleeping. He said that they should be quiet so they wouldn't wake him up. He carefully opened his office door. When he looked in, he got a surprise. Kingy was awake and sitting on top of Fred's desk. What happened? Fred asked. Now, as everyone knows, when dolls talk, Sometimes only their owners can hear them. So when Kingy told Fred what was happening, Betty didn't hear anything Kingy said. Kingy told Fred, first of all, I didn't go to sleep for the whole night. It was only 10 minutes after five o'clock right now. Second, you forgot to sing to me. So I knew it wasn't time for my nighttime sleep. Third, what are those bugs on the top of your desk? Fred ran over to his desk to look. He couldn't see any bugs on top of his desk. Okay, that's it for now. Are you ready for your turn to play? Remember, you can press pause at any time. Go ahead and grab a piece of paper and a pencil and let's begin. Number one, why couldn't Fred see the bugs? Number two, Kingy started his nap at five o'clock. He ended his nap at 5.10. How long had Kingy slept? Number three, Betty went up the stairs two at a time, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. Continue counting up to 40. Your answer will look like this. 2, 4, 6, 8, 
10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, and so on. Number four. Here is the set of days of the week that have an S in their names. Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. Write the set of days of the week that have an H in their names. Okay, here are your answers. You can go ahead and check your work. Now, are you ready for today's homeschooling meme? Here you go. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that one. I'll see you tomorrow for chapter three. Bye.